And this is the exact same path, yeah. both exact times, just, just, just straight up. Seth Orvis walks us through the damage to yet another crash into the lower level of his house. In July 2020, a drunk driver crashed into the downstairs office, leaving tons of debris and months of repairs. And now this week. Wife and kids were having dinner up in the uh, kitchen up there, and about 7 o'clock, they heard what sounded like a bomb downstairs. Another crash. He says this one involved an Uber Eats driver who didn't possibly see the street well enough and crashed into the same room as the first driver. Thankfully, in both incidents, no one was hurt. She couldn't believe that another car could have possibly come inside the house again, and she came down here, and there was a Ford Mustang in our um, office. Now the family is demanding safety measures get put in place on his street. His home in the Arinda Hills are full of narrow, windy roads with little street lights and traffic signs. And right in front of his house is a three-way intersection with just one stop sign. That leads right into his driveway. They don't have to stop. The speed limit is supposed to be 20, 25. I know there's signs right down the street that make them slow down to 15, but there's nothing here. We reached out to the city of Arinda. We are waiting a reply. Orvis says if he doesn't see anything change on his street soon, he and his family will consider moving. There's got to be something that's that's done here. I mean, my wife doesn't want to live it. We want to move because this is crazy. Orvis says it took seven months to repair the damage from the first crash. And then a year later, the second crash happened. He fears if no safety improvements are made on his street, a third crash will happen. Do we put a huge boulder? Do we put a gigantic tree? I, we're talking about gates. But I don't know. I don't know if that's going to deter any cars from coming here. In Orinda, Ryan Curry, ABC7 News.